It's anti-Aggie story time, let's see what's in store There's lots of fun for everyone, who could ask for more? So settle in, get listening, a story now to you we'll bring Watch and see what will it be, a brand new tale for you and me Let's all go and have a look and see what's in the story book It's anti-Aggie story time, anti-Aggie story time, anti-Aggie story time Let's see what's in store Hello! My name is Auntie Aggie, and welcome to the library for Auntie Aggie Storytime. The place is filled with shelves, and the shelves are filled with books, and the books are filled with exciting stories. And today I have a super new story for you at home. But I'm looking for lots of story ideas as well. So, Send your story ideas in to Auntie Aggie and it might be chosen for the story time. And I'll send a McDougal's bookmark to everyone who sends an idea for a story. <laughs> so, without further ado, it's time for the story. Are you all ready to join in? Oh, come on. Are you all ready to join in? Woohoo! Super! Well, here we go. This week our story is called Rachel the Spider and it is based on an idea sent to us by Fern. And in this story you get to play a bit of a guessing game because in the story Rachel the Spider meets lots of different types of insects. I'll give you the clues and you have to guess the insect that she meets. Oh, oh sounds great fun! Get ready for the story! Way out in the woods, far away as can be, lived Rachel the spider in a green beech tree. Among the bright leaves, Rachel lived on her own. And she felt so sad because she felt so alone. She had no one to talk with and no one to play with. No one to walk with and eat flies all day with. <laughs> Poor Rachel the spider had no company, way out in the woods in her green beech tree. All Rachel wanted was for another spider to be her best friend and to live right beside her. She felt as though she had been left on the shelf, living alone, huh, and all by herself. Until, as a new day was only beginning and Rachel the spider, a web she was spinning, she saw another insect. <gasps> Could this be true? Was it a spider? Can you guess from these clues? This insect was fuzzy and stripy and round and was making a loud sort of buzz, buzzing sound. It had wings, yep, and it flew up the green beech tree. It wasn't a spider, it was a... It was a bumblebee! Rachel thought, I'm sure a bumblebee would be great, but it's a spider I want to be my best mate. Without even stopping, off went the bee. And then someone else, Rachel did see, another insect. Oh, could this be true? Was it a spider? Ooh. Can you guess from the clues? Um, this insect was slow. On its back was a shell. Its body looked sticky and uh, slimy as well. As it crawled, it left behind a silvery trail. It wasn't a spider, it was a... It was a snail! Rachel thought, I'm sure a snail would be great, but it's a spider I want to be my best mate. <laughs> the snail kept on crawling until it was gone. And Rachel saw something else coming along, another insect! Oh, could this be true? Was it a spider? Can you guess from these clues? Um, this insect 
was beautiful. And on either side, it had colourful wings, which it used to glide. Ooh. It fluttered and flew, soared up to the sky. It wasn't a spider, it was a... It was a butterfly! Rachel thought, I'm sure a butterfly would be great, but it's a spider. I want to be my best mate. <laughs> and then away went the butterfly. Rachel was alone and she gave a sigh. Huh, it's no good, she thought. I'll never see another spider here in my green beech tree. But Rachel had no more need to fear, for soon someone else started to appear. Another insect! Oh, could this be true? Was this a spider? Can you guess from these clues? <laughs> um, this insect wasn't long and it wasn't too tall. It had eight spindly legs and it used them to crawl. It was coming towards Rachel. It must have spied her. Could it be? Of course, it's a spider. Yes, another spider. <laughs> Rachel said, yes, a spider. Oh, that's great. It's a spider I've longed for to be my best mate. <laughs> Rachel crawled to the spider. She went over to greet her. Her name was Bella. She was happy to meet her. Bella was looking for somewhere to stay. And Rachel told her she could move in right away. Oh, Rachel and Bella. <laughs> the two spiders, they became best of friends. And that is how our story ends. Rachel the spider now isn't alone. She has a new friend to call her own. She has someone to talk with and someone to play with, someone to walk with and eat flies all day with. Now Rachel has Bella for company and they both stay together in the green beech tree. Oh, what a lovely story about Rachel and Bella the spiders. Uh -huh. See you next time. It's Auntie Aggie story time, Auntie Aggie story time, Auntie Aggie story time, let's see what's in store.